Hello everyone. Well, today I want to uh, demonstrate two things. I want to show you a new uh, screen capturing video application I have called BB Flashback Express 5. And I also want to show you um, the PHP My Admin interface uh, on my Examplite uh, on my flash drive. Uh, let me get into that. And so let me get into, first of all, go down to the control panel for exam control and I've got the Apache web server and the MySQL uh, which is the structured query language MySQL running I've got both of those servers running on my flash drive in the uh, cross-platform Apache MySQL PHP I'm going to minimize that and now I want to go out to um, uh, well I actually had it up let's go out to the web browser which is here and let me type in the local host which is the uh, local the way to access the server on my flash drive so let's do HTTP going forward slash forward slash local host forward slash PHP my admin and that should fire up a login screen um, the server is uh, requesting authentication so let me put in my password or username and my password hit the login button it should log me into PHP my admin and there it is this gives me my MySQL my web server my PHP my admin versions over here they're all compatible with one another alright what I'm running on this flash drive is the exam um, platform MySQL database which is a relational database management system called test if I click on it, it brings up three tables that I have I'm looking at the structure right now of those three tables there's a context table a personnel table and a timesheet table if I click on the personnel uh, table for instance it presents the structure of that table there's an employee ID unique field which is the key uh, for this particular table. There is a first name, last name, a job title, and an hourly wage field that displays the first name and last name of each of the individuals in this table along with their job titles and their hourly wage. Now if I click on the timesheet table that takes you out to another, another table that I have created here in MySQL uh, it has an employee ID key field and as well as a, an hours worked field. It shows the number of hours that each of these employees by employee ID has worked this week. Okay, And so it's, that's why it's called timesheet. And then I have created a third table called contacts. And again, there are 10 records in this table. There, um, there's an employee ID key field. There's an address, city, state, and zip code corresponding to each employee ID, which is unique, uh, which basically is the address for each of the employees by employee ID. So I've got three tables set up in the test MySQL uh, database. And so um, next thing I want to do is show you the structure and how I've related those three tables. If I click on the test MySQL relational database management, database and go out to designer um, it brings up the design view if you will of those three tables so this is the MySQL database with the three tables showing you've got the personnel table with the related fields the employee ID field is the key and then I have the timesheet table here with the two fields uh, employee ID and hours worked again the employee ID is the unique field so I've related on a one-to-one -one correspondence here, a relationship between these two tables. And then I have a third table, again, contacts with these fields here with an employee ID unique field. And I've related the employee ID field on the timesheet table to the employee ID field in a one-to-one -one relationship here with the contacts. So this is the relationship that I've got built up in the MySQL relational database management system. I want to show you a quick query here to demonstrate that. I can go to the query window here and click it or I can come down to any particular table. Uh, I'm going to actually click on the personnel table here 
bring that table up and then I'm going to go up to the SQL field which brings up that uh, query window as well and it brings up uh, the run SQL query on the database window with the default which is select and the star there indicates all fields so select all fields from here is the table name personnel and then I've got a criteria I'm building here where uh, let's say where last name is equal to single quote Smith and then semicolon that's the PHP language this is in PHP let me click the go button here and that should run the query which took three ten thousandths of a second to complete and it brings up two records meeting the criteria uh, that we specified which is select from all fields from the personnel table uh, where last name is equal to Smith and so here we have two Smiths we have Chris Smith and Joan Smith and one is a salesperson and one's a cleaner and then here's the hourly wage corresponding uh, to them uh, alright so let's uh, let's go back out to um, personnel table again let's click on it bring up the table structure go out to the SQL tab again and what I want to do this time is I want to make this a little more complicated. I'm going to actually join two tables since I have a relationship built up between the personnel table here uh, and uh, I have the relationship built up between personnel and timesheet as well. So uh, I'm going to select um, from all fields from the personnel table and the uh, timesheet table. Uh, where, and I'm going to specify one of the fields where uh, personnel dot um, last name is equal to Smith. And I'm going to use a Boolean uh, conjunction here of or, uh, Boolean relation. So it's OR, and then I'm going to specify uh, timesheet table and the uh, hours worked is equal to, um, or let's say let's is greater than 20. Uh, you need single quote 20.00 in single quote semicolon so we're going to select all fields from the personnel table and timesheet table where personnel dot last name which is the last name field of the personnel table is equal to Smith or the timesheet dot hours worked which is the hours work field of the timesheet table is greater than 20 and let's run that query and it took uh, five ten thousandths of a second to complete that and then here is the result set from the query that we just ran so this has been a demonstration of accessing the PHP MyAdmin graphical user interface on the MySQL database uh, that I have running on my cross-platform Apache MySQL PHP flash drive with two servers running and uh, accessing the MySQL database using that graphical user interface called PHP MyAdmin.